I don't think that beating yourself up is a good strategy for getting better. Because like some people think that like, hey, what you really, I really try to say to myself, I'm a huge piece of shit and I suck at drawing. And so I'm going to keep, and the, re, and, and the reason I keep getting better is because I always hate myself, right? And I go, I don't think that's it, man. I don't think that's the path forwards. There's on the other side, there's this complacency. Oh yeah, I know how to draw anime. And it's like, no, you don't. <laughs> you stink at it. Like, what? <laughs> not you. I'm talking about Christopher Hart back in the day, right? He's like, oh, yeah, I know how to do it. And it's like just full on Dunning Kruger, doesn't actually know how to do it, is writing instructional books on it, and then it, lacking the kind of curiosity, like, helps push him forwards. Beating somebody up online and being like, yeah, you, uh, you suck. Telling somebody they suck and like isn't like a service to them. Badgering someone online that they should be better at art, I don't think is like a good idea, both a human being standpoint, but also just from an educational standpoint. But it, it does feel like there is some balance of forces here. How do we both be curious? How do we, how, that curiosity requires a certain lack of complacency. Like you're just not happy with where you're at artistically. You wanna push forward, but also you need to be like kind of nice to yourself. Like you can't just think of yourself as a huge piece of who sucks at art all the time. It might fuel some level of curiosity of wanting to get better, but it's also actively demotivating and it also degrades your quality of life to a significant degree. I feel like there's a, a needle that get, needs to get threaded there in order to figure that out. Do you think there's something instructive about that balance from the whole like Christopher Hart anecdote you're telling? Can we dig something extra, uh, some extra wisdom out of this idea? The thing you were saying yesterday about um, art advice needing to be like tailored to the individual person is so true. Like the stuff that like I needed to have screamed at me when like I was younger is like very different from the stuff that like Christopher Hart needed to have screamed at him when he was like earlier in his career or whatever. Yeah. There's some people where they kind of need to be told, no, you're you're doing okay. Like they need to be built up more. And there's some people where like- maybe Yeah, you're like, benefit. you're actually really good at art and you should keep going and you're great. And you're a worthwhile person and everybody likes you. And then some yeah. people need to be like, hey, listen, <laughs> you need to chill. <laughs> you need to chill out. You need to cool your jets. You need to have be a little bit more, have a little bit more humility, you know, be more open to some of these things that people are telling you. Big lessons out there that you're, you're missing out on. And yeah, so it's like there's this balance. And the question of like, where are you in that balance is maybe not something that everyone can self-assess, which I think is probably true, right? Yeah. I think it's easy to assume that, yeah, different people need different things. Like, if you're trying to teach people you're not talking to, yes. If yeah, you're trying to yeah. teach somebody who is like a theoretical person in a crowd from a stage, <laughs> yes, it's really hard because you can't be like, the key is humility, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Word. Because this is why, this is this is just me going, calling back to my rant from yesterday. It's like, this is why that shit doesn't work. It is absolutely the right advice for someone, but it's not the right advice for everyone. The thing I found is that for every piece of advice that's like 100% correct, there's someone out there for whom the advice is 100% incorrect. And it's like the exact, they need the exact opposite. Knowing what you need as a person is really difficult. And this is why people go to therapy because they're like, I know something's wrong. I just don't know what to do about it. But it's also like, you know, why, what I think you can get out of a really good mentor or art school is to have somebody look at your stuff and tell you like, no, 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 no. You were really good at this one thing. You need to learn this other thing.